Over the years of doing the John Wick training, the physicality, the martial arts, and then the weapon work, I've gotten better. So I'm really the ceiling, because the vision is always bigger than me. And when you're the limit, you can always get better. With the release of John Wick 4 coming in March, there's no shortage of how many stunts Keanu Reeves has done, more than 90% of his own stunts in his films, and today we wanted to look back at all of the films he has done over the years and how he pulled them off. So let's jump right into it. That was good, man. Look at that. Oh, fuck yeah. That's what I want to get coming out of the warehouse. Kung Fu or Gung Fu or Car Fu, they all help define the world. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. For the diehard Keanu Reeves fans out there, what sport did he play when he was a child to keep him busy? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I let myself in. <laughs> Miss Perkins' character, played by Adrian, was actually a male character. <laughs> <laughs> by the time John Wick came out, Keanu Reeves was no stranger to doing his own stunts. He's of course most known for his role as John Wick and instantly got hooked to continue with the character style. And get in the mix. I think if there's any other action actor or actor, there wouldn't be a John Wick. I think he's the only one that could play him. He can do everything. He's just as good as any stunt guy out there. With his first film, there was a lot of stunt, stunt driving and physical fighting involved. We brought him on to do the car stuff. And we brought him on specifically to train Keanu to do his own stuff. Basic stuff like 180s, 90s, 45s. 180 burnout, do some drifting. The choreography that was involved in it, Keanu worked alongside stunt teams to help him navigate the moves and train for many hours every day, even throughout an entire summer in order to prepare for this role for the first time and get the hang of it all. He carved out his entire summer to become John Wick. In least of the movies I've worked on as a producer, I've never seen a movie star give so much commitment of his time before a movie actually started. And that training has paid off because the, the stuff he's doing in this movie is just incredible. He was always the one to try to put more action into the film and get as involved as possible with everything going on, like the explosions and jumping off of buildings. Eric, the machine, the machine. You have no choice. You're in the machine. You're going down. Any stunt guy working today. I've never worked with an actor who's willing to work that hard, train that hard. The guy's an animal. Getting more used to the character, they approached the choreography a little bit differently as the production team knew that Kiana would have different expectations for the second installment. We just made Kiana pretty much one of the choreographers, one of our stuntmen. We pushed him harder than I think we've ever pushed anybody. You'll see him take his own falls, his own roles. And Kiana tells us a little bit about what he had to do differently with this film. It really was one of the hardest, if not the hardest, physical stories I've had to tell. Because there's a lot more action in Parabellum than there is in the other two films. John Wick Chapter 3 was a whole different ball game, and the most famous scene from that one was the horse scene where Kiana had to ride on the side of the horse for one particular scene. So here we can see him on a real horse attached to a bunch of harnesses. Here we can also see how difficult it was to manage the side-by-side -side motorcycle fighting sequence. The stunt team worked out the choreography first. That was super important. You have to get the fight beats working, and then everything else will come after that. The actual fight choreography and the camera move. You're on a motorcycle, you win machines, but that could move. You know? We could literally 
have all of the behaviors leaning and hitting each other. We also wanted to give a shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, we ask a challenging Marvel related trivia question over on our community tab. If you answer it correctly, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. <laughs> With an acting career spanning all the way back to 1985, it's amazing to see Keanu go through all of the training and preparations in order to do all of these stunts. The first film he starred in was a short film called One Step Away, and even though he didn't do any stunts in this one, he still put on a pretty good performance. This morning. Test! What test? <laughs> If you think you're getting away with that, you have another thing coming. You've earned yourself an F, mister. Great. I've got myself a collection. <laughs> One of his first action films was Speed in 1994. Its premise revolves around a bus that is rigged by a terrorist to explode if its speed falls below 50 miles per hour. Reeves did the majority of his own stunts, including the scene where Jack jumps onto the bus from the moving car. Bond, the director, did not want Reeves to do it, but he secretly trained with the stunt team and did one in one take. He's extreme. He's out there. You know, that's cool. It's, yeah. Yeah, let's go. When the stunt's going on, you see me stuff in my face. It's the biggest risk I take is with the calories and the fat. Uh, hold on! Even during an interview in 2020, Keanu Reeves was petrified of the action scenes within that film, but became addicted to the adrenaline. We have a big fight scene on top of the train, and the space on top of the is like only like you know, 20, 20 inches or less. The director of Speed, Dave Bond, was the one that encouraged Rihanna to do his own stunts, and the rest is history. I feel like my whole idea for Speed was to be with the characters as much as possible, to let the actors do as much as the stunts themselves, Devant told the Huffington Post. If anything went wrong, his passenger side is a 50-foot drop. If Keanu goes to the right, he's dropping 50 feet, he's done to concrete. You're not going to walk away from that. Three, two, one, and wham. With Debon's encouragement, Reeves did end up performing a lot of his own stunts. The moment when his character Jack boards the bus from a moving car, he said it's way too dangerous, Debon recalled. And I told him it was basically like stepping onto an escalator. You just move up. You know, if we're speaking creatively, like even early days on Wick, you know, the times that we spent in, in the office in New York, really just kind of going through story and dialogue casting and everything and kind of you sharing your vision. A lot of Japanese scotch. Even though the final shot in the film is of a stuntman, he did get to do it at least once. We can even get a sneak peek of what to expect from the fourth installment of this franchise with Kiana saying that this film is completely taking things to a whole new level. We really wanted to do something different. We're gonna have this sequence around the Arc de Triomphe. We tore all the doors off and lost the windshield. You're gonna do a reverse 180, and you gotta shoot a gun, and you gotta reload. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, in Toronto, Reeves became swept up in the appeal of ice hockey. So what do you guys think about all these moments and what are your expectations of John Wick 4? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. It's demanding. But that demanding, that thing, is also, it's pleasure, right? Which I love. That's what makes him special. He understands the connection. He understands why he's doing it. And he's more than willing to give the time. Quick action asks just a little bit more. And you see the effort and the commitment from the team. Ian McShane is back with Lawrence Fishburne and Lance Reddick. And then we have Donnie Yen. Bill Skarsgård.